Okay, so finally, after a long wait, we have uh, calculated our uh, flow accumulation here. Now let's move to the next step. Now, first of all, if you zoom into this, we you can of course make the other things sort of uh, not visible, and you can zoom in here and see that where your point is, and you can just inspect the map here, like this, right? It's this one. Now the problem is that we're not able to uh, see any lines here, any streamlines here, which can give us an idea either our uh, catchment area is going to be found correctly or not. So we have to adjust this a little bit. So for that, what we can do is that I'll try to zoom out and I'll try to do one thing. First of all, I'll make a point here. Uh, I'll try to first of all see if the point is correct here 71 19 13.53 and our point here was 71 19 13.53 in 33 58 29.33 yeah this is correct so that point is correct what we'll do is that we'll try to fix this map a little bit so for fixing this map first of all I what I'll do is I'll try to add a point here because this point is not a fixed point uh, or you can say a shape file this is just a something for reference purposes we can just see that there is a point somewhere but it cannot be used further in our tools so in order to make it usable we'll have to add this point in real here so for that I'll add a shape file for adding a shape file I'll go to the catalog here you can also find a catalog from here so in the catalog you can see your folder and you can see this is your folder software YouTube here I will add a new uh, I'll right click and add a new shape file and then a new shape file would be the dam inlet right this this is what I am naming it you can name it as it is it is going to be point now for the units we will click on the edit and in edit you have to select the proper unit for unit what you can do is you will have to go to geographic coordinate system and you do world wgs 1984 and then okay and then okay and your that's added then you can go to the editor start editing click on dam inlet okay and then after that you go to create features how to create features you can select this point and and then click on this and you can see now you're able to see a point here you just place it in exactly on top of that point so we'll just place it here and after that save edits and stop edits right and now we can zoom out Right. okay so after placing that point now what we have to do we go back to the tools here and let's set up this map a little bit now to set up the map what I will do is that I'll have to go to the spatial analysis tool again and in this I'll go to maybe math and no, not math I think it was to search it map algebra raster calculator yeah map algebra raster calculator here what we'll do is that we'll try to add so that if flow accumulation greater than i would say five thousand and then okay and let's for wait for it to be calculated And we have some of the streamlines now visible here. So you can zoom it to it now. And you can see that it's a little bit moved from there. So now we have to fix it. We have to move it there. So in order to do that, I'll click on start editing and okay. And then I'll I will be selecting this point and moving it on this and save edits and stop editing. Okay, so that's done, right? So after that's done, now we have fixed this location. Now we are good to go. So what we'll do, we'll just minimize this and we'll go back to the spatial analysis tool and we will go to the hydrology. In hydrology, we'll go to watershed 
and in the watershed we'll add the flow direction so flow direction is this one and for input point input point will be dam inlet and go let's calculate it here we go so over catchment area have been delineated and you can see it's visible here so this was the point and you can see to the left and this is the catchment area of our location now what we have to do is if you want to find the area exactly at how much is this area we have to do a few more steps so what will be the more steps now we can close this spatial analysis tool and we can go to um, the conversion tools but for conversion tools what will let's say if I go to conversion tool I can go to from raster to shape file so no from raster to polygon so from raster to polygon I'll click on this I'll select the input raster as watershed and then okay so this will be converted into polygon then then we can find the area of that polygon right that's polygon I'll click on the uh, before we find the area we'll click on this uh, layers maybe we'll go to properties and we'll change the unit so we'll change it to projected coordinate system for projected coordinate system one thing is that we'll go back to the google or pro or even you can search in the google but you need to find the zone by zone i mean that if you go here you can see the projected coordinate system utm WGS 1984 northern or southern hemisphere it depends on your location so we can find that here we can go to Google Earth Pro and we can click on the location that we were working on so let's zoom into that location that's why Google Earth is important for when you are trying to find the catchment area make sure you have here is the dam inlet right so this was our point now you can see that the zone is uh, the zone is it visible here the coordinates are visible but the zone is not being shown here so for zone what we'll do is we'll go to view no edit or tool tool options and we will click on UTM and now you can see 42 s 42 s 71 and whatever right so let's go there let's go there 42 s southern hemisphere and 42 42 s okay and let me check yeah so it's done right after doing that now we can go right click we will click on open attribute table in the open attribute table i will add a field adding the field i will name it area and after naming it area we will right click calculate geometry and I'll select the area into any unit right this is square kilometer area and okay and we can see it's 511 square kilometers of area for this catchment area so this is how we have found the catchment area and you can see it's visible in kilometers value here as well so these are all the steps that we can use to find the watershed or catchment area for any location using the ArcGIS. Now you can display it in Google Earth Pro here if you want to easily. How? Let's let's do that. So the last step is going to be here. Conversion tools again and here we'll move it to 2KML. So for 2KML from layer to KML, the layer is going to be watershed layer. The output is going to be software YouTube raster right and then OK. So let's export it. You can go to that folder and here you can see the f this is what we just exported right so let's try to import it here into the Google Earth Pro and you can see that our location is displayed in the Google Earth Pro the catchment area so this is from where the water is coming to this dam inlet point that we placed here this point right that's the whole area contributing the water to this point so I hope you understood the whole process of finding catchment area and you understood all the steps that we just did here. So we calculated the catchment area using all these steps. We changed the units as well. We set it up. We calculated geometry. 
and we export the catchment area and we display that in the Google Ad Pro. So thank you, take care, and we'll meet in the next videos for further lessons. Bye-bye.